welcome back to my channel. This is Salo speaking. It's been a while. Well, it's been a long time. So happy to be back with you here and talking with you. It's such a great privilege to me. And I'm so thankful for all the patrons who are supporting me. Thank you so much. But let's get back to the topic. Today I would like to talk about police and especially about the Italian police. In details, we're going to talk about Palermo police because that's where I live. I live in Palermo. Police here is very interesting and it's uh, somewhat funny in a way. Uh, <laughs> last night I was with Metatron. There were some people fighting and the police came and they didn't do much, you know. I think in the States uh, people would have been arrested for sure. But here you can find policemen who will come up to you just trying to, um, you know, to, to calm you down and stuff. But at the end of the day, it's not much of a help, is it? Palermo is a beautiful city, it's surrounded by the, the sea, and monuments, and mountains, you've got everything, you name it. But our system is not working very well. There are crazy drivers driving around all day long, traffic jams, scooters passing you from the right side, they should pass from the left side instead, but they're not uh, keeping the rules. It seems like not many people like to keep the rules. No civic sense in this amazing city, but still, it's got its good things and bad things about it. And I was quite astonished by the great results the Palermo police brought uh, to pass, and it's just amazing. So, let me share this information with you guys. From March 1st, 2018, till March 20th, 2019, these are the achievements. Eight tons of drugs were seized by the police. Four thousand people were reported to the police. That's a great number of people. Forty people warned for stalking. And a good amount of people were arrested in this last year. Precisely, one thousand two hundred and fifty-nine people were arrested in Palermo. It's crazy, isn't it? So when it comes to drugs, let's get specific here. So we're talking about six thousand kilos of marijuana were seized. By the police. 2,200 kilos of cocaine was seized by the Palermo police. 9,354 theft took place in Palermo. That's a, a crazy, crazy, crazy rate. 9,354. It's crazy. So, four murders, 480 armed robbery, which is a lot. 64 extortions. Mafia is still real, it's still present. It's not just a matter of um, magic people, it's just a matter of culture, I think, as well. Well, according to politicians and the government, Palermo is the safest city in Italy. Well, uh, in a way, I think they're right, because more or less I feel quite safe by living in Palermo, but at the same time, things happen. I think things happen all over the world, but here things happen, and that, that's really sad. And, uh, glad we have the police because without the police there will be anarchy and with anarchy there wouldn't be freedom so I think the police is doing a great job in Palermo although it's a very challenging city and we would need more policemen around I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your support I'll be back with other videos very very soon and remember if you feel sad you better call some bye bye